Maharashtra State Road Development Corporation or MSRDC was established as a fully owned entity of the government of Maharashtra in 1996. MSRDC soon won huge appreciation for the rapid progress it made in constructing and completing 55 flyovers in the Mumbai region in a record time. In its 27 years of existence, MSRDC has not only successfully built the mammoth Hindu Hridaya Samrat Bala Sahib Thakre Samruddhi Mahamarg, but has also delivered many other state-of-the-art engineering marvels. From India's first six-lane concrete high-speed and access-controlled expressway connecting two major cities of Mumbai and Pune to the country's first cable-stage C-Link bridge, MSRDC has been managing mega-projects since its inception. MSRDC pioneered the development of access-controlled greenfield expressway projects in India. In the absence of private sector capacity at that point of time, MSRDC demonstrated that a state entity can deliver transformational infrastructure projects in record time. Mumbai Pune Expressway stands as a testimony to it. The construction of the 95km Mumbai Pune Expressway under the stewardship of MSRDC began in 1998 and was operationalized in 2002. Developed as India's first six-lane access control expressway, the project was completed in record time and at half the cost that some private entities estimated when they bid. After a bit of a lull, MSRDC was reinvigorated in 2015 and embarked upon the task of building what is currently India's longest greenfield expressway. In 2015, the Maharashtra government, led by then Chief Minister Shri Devendra Fadnavis, announced and approved the construction of a greenfield expressway connecting the state capital Mumbai with Nagpur. MSRDC was chosen as the nodal agency constructing the Samruddhi Mahamarg. From conceptualizing the alignment to land acquisition, securing funding, tendering packages and construction, Samruddhi Expressway was completed in record time. It is widely regarded as the gold standard in greenfield expressway development. The 701 km expressway that traverses 10 key districts of the state and indirectly connects other 14 districts was specifically aimed at opening up new vistas for the state. The expressway connects economic hubs including the country's largest container port, JNPT in Mumbai, and a new airport coming up in Navi Mumbai. It will provide access to several industrial and economic centers through 24 interchanges. The project was not merely envisaged as connecting two places, but was envisioned as an economic corridor. A key vision of the expressway project is to develop 18 townships located at strategic intersections at a distance of 30 to 40 kilometers from each other. Usually, when a highway is developed, we know that interchanges gradually emerge as economic hotspots. But instead of that process happening in a spasmodic way, MSRDC has integrated the township development plan into the expressway project design to unlock the best value. The new townships will encompass essential facilities including schools, industrial training institutes, skill development centers, institutes providing technical education, higher education, hospitals, police stations, playgrounds, open spaces, 
parks and sports complexes. Another key project that MSRDC is working on is the Missing Link project on the Mumbai Pune Expressway, which is set to be complete by mid 2024. The Missing Link will save 30 minutes of commute time between the two cities. With the Missing Link, MSRDC also aims to solve an annual worry during the monsoon traffic gridlocks at Khandala due to falling boulders and more room from hillocks that flank the road. The Rs 6,695 crore project is an engineering marvel. The missing link will feature an 840 meter long wire duct, then it enters a 1.75 kilometer long tunnel. then goes over the 640 meter long cable state bridge and after that enters another 8.9 kilometer long tunnel Cable State Bridge is a crucial part of the project. MSRDC designed it to withstand wind speeds of 70 meters per second or 252 kilometers per hour. A prototype of the bridge's design was put to wind tunnel testing in Denmark, California, Delhi and Hyderabad. It was a huge effort. The wind tunnel testing had to be done as the bridge over the Sahyadri Valley. The valley has unique weather patterns with varying wind patterns. The tunneling work is complete and some work on wire ducts is pending. MSRDC is now developing the Versova Bandra Sea Link, set to be another iconic project in the city of Mumbai, 17 kilometers in length. This new bridge will connect Versova a neighborhood in the suburb of Andheri to the Bandra Worli Sea Link in Bandra as part of the coastal road. The eight lane Sea Link will reduce congestion on the Western Express Highway and the Western Line of the Mumbai Suburban Railway, expecting to cut down commute time for Mumbaikars from over 90 minutes to 10 minutes. The key elements of the bridge structure include one main wire duct, a 300 meter long cable state bridge, three balanced cantilever bridges, and four connectors. MSRDC's success has been fashioned by its inspiring leadership and highly skilled team of engineers and employees. We said, okay, we will actually plan it in a way to the best. MSRDC has developed a lean, efficient, contemporary organizational structure, acquired the necessary technical skills and developed the enterprising spirit capable of and supporting decentralized decision making. MSRDC's project has been meticulously planned, taking into consideration the needs of both citizens and the state. MSRDC's upcoming projects will not only enhance the visual landscape but also transform various regions of the state into more modern and accessible areas. It will continue to script iconic and mega infrastructure projects for Mumbai and Maharashtra and play a pivotal role in Maharashtra's march to becoming India's first trillion dollar economy. One trillion kehne wala pehla state Maharashtra tha aur one trillion pahunchne wala bhi pehla state Maharashtra hoga.